Hi everyone, it's me Nikki here with another segment of What Would Nikki Do? And so today we're going to help out our girlfriend, Tracy. And Tracy comes to us all the way from Mississippi. And Tracy's dilemma is how to style a china cabinet. So let's jump in and help our friend out. Okay, so here is my china cabinet, and it's one that I got a few years back off of Craigslist. It was brown, it was dated, but I looked at the style and the shape of it, and I love that about it. So my husband and I grabbed it up, we cleaned it up, we painted it white, and we absolutely love it. Now, as you can see here, my china cabinet is used for the purpose of my silver. You know, I love storing my silver in here because I'm able to see my collection, I'm able to easily access it when I need it, and it just really serves the purpose for me. And so, you know, I know that china cabinets are used for all types of things now. Some use it to store their books, and I've seen beautiful book collections stored in a china cabinet, which traditionally we would typically think of a china cabinet as for our china, but that's not the case these days. You know, it all has to go with your personal style. That's my belief. I think that it should go for what you want, whether you want to put your collection of baskets in there or stemware or whatever the case may be. So that's my first tip is to find the purpose for your china cabinet. So I clearly know for my china cabinet, my silver is my purpose because I love a little sparkle in my home. You guys know that about me. And so that silver actually provides that for me in my dining room. So when I walk in the room, I see all this beautiful silver and I love it. Now the second tip is to start with a clean slate. I'm the type of person I have to clear out a space and that way it gives me a fresh perspective on it and I'm not kind of confused by looking at everything. So if I was to try to restyle this while everything was in this cabinet, it would get frustrating because because I'm already frustrated that I don't like the way that it looked. Not saying I don't like this, but I'm just using that as an example. But by clearing it out, it's giving me a fresh perspective, like I said, and it's allowing my creative juices to start flowing. And so you definitely want to clear your space out. Now, what I did here is I cleared out one side of my china cabinet because I want to take you on a journey with me to show you how I think when I put something together in my home. And so we're going to redecorate this side of my china cabinet in more of a spring inspired look and so I'm hoping that will help you Tracy with kind of maybe a thought process for your china cabinet because I think it's always good to ask your girlfriend or friends you know of their perspective because you never know what you'll learn so that's why I love doing these videos so let's jump into our spring inspired china cabinet styling and so I had these charger plates here from my kitchen and I just grabbed those and I'm grabbing things from around my house I'm not buying anything and then my white china and I put them on the top shelf along with this kind of teapot I had got from home since but with the teapot I threw some greenery in it to give it a spring look and to kind of give a slight punch of color to all of this white because the dishes are white my china cabinet is white and it's spring so I wanted to add a little touch of that but as you know my house is a lot of neutrals and I don't like a lot of punches of color but this gave me just the perfect amount that um, satisfied me and that I was happy with and so on the second shelf I put another set of the dishes but I wanted to bring more of an Easter feel in because it is spring and Easter time and so I have this beautiful bunny that I got from Hobby Lobby along with a little touch of greenery for that second shelf but I wasn't quite happy with it when I put it there I thought it still needed something a little extra so I went shopping in my house again again and found these two faux books sat the rabbit on top and I loved how that looked again that's my next tip is shopping your home playing around with it and not being afraid to pull random items you know that not necessarily typically you would think would go in a china cabinet but things that you love and putting them together with your china and so this for the bottom shelf I took these two items and I used this at the bottom of the shelf again giving every shelf that little touch of green for the spring but keeping with my crisp white that I absolutely love having in my home and so by doing this I feel that it gave me a nice kind of spring feel with not not having too much overkill because that kind of I don't like a lot of clutter and so by doing this I think that it really kind of spruced up that side of my china cabinet and this is something um, that you want to think about when you're doing it and so again shop your house and grab all kinds of things, whether it's picture frames, whether it's faux books or real books, 
flowers, greenery, figurines, all kinds of things and incorporate that into your purpose. If your purpose is dishes or if your purpose is stemware or if your purpose is baskets and incorporate other items into your china cabinet. So that's my recommendation there. Now what I also did was I took the same spring inspired look and added it with my silver because you know my purpose is my silver so that is what's in my cabinet. So I just basically instead of having the white china I incorporated the same pieces in my silver and it worked perfectly and so I love that how it turned out and how it looked there so definitely Tracy you know it's something that you can play around with but don't do it when you're kind of rushing or stressed or feel like you have to you know get a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just sit back and look at your china cabinet and then pull pieces and try it out put everything on your dining room table and have a ball planning it out and trying this and trying that you're home by yourself no one else knows uh, what you're doing and so you can just kind of play around until you get the look you want and again make sure it represents something you want and if you still are struggling with inspiration look on Pinterest look in magazines and see if there's any kind of a style in there that you like and try to mimic that in your own way and then start tweaking from there so Tracy I hope you found these tips helpful if any of our friends out there have any tips for Tracy please leave them in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and you like these types of videos please like this video so that I know that I want to thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a beautiful day and this is Nikki saying goodbye.